Welcome to Empowerment Point and welcome to our training of the Empowerment Point Connector Tool, also known as My Most Trusted. It was birthed in Scott Cundall's mind while having a bath in July of 2019. Since then, he has been developing it and improving it and expanding its usage globally. A year ago, he started implementing white labeled versions more prominently with many additional features being added to enhance people connecting, being introduced and referred to genuine human beings specific to a person's demographic and outreach without being annoyed by spam, fake profiles and hard selling. Due to the many amazing features added, there is also the premium version, which has become a game changer and, we would, and which we will hear all about tonight as well. It solidifies communities and networks in one place and allows access to a larger network of real, genuine, live people. Facilitating and recording introductions, referrals, and much, much more. You can manage your own personal trusted connections, email them once a week if you wish, and build real, sustainable business relationships with real people. And that's what empowerment is all about. It's about real, sustainable business relationships with real people. As an Empowerment Point member, you get to also see the other members' trusted connections as well. Scott has 25 years in the CRM and marketing industry, alongside being a successful tech entrepreneur, sales professional, and published author. He has two bronze medals, one at the Kung Fu World Championships in China, and he has made his mark in local media and speaker circuits, including his TEDx talk. Scott can sing Danny Boy beautifully. Scott, you still need to sing that for me. We still need to do that. Is a regular guest on TV. We'll and be in a pub in Ireland for that, maybe. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Maybe. He's a regular guest on TV and a published author of multiple books, including the captivating One Liner. If you are a networking group who would like to also white label this, please get in touch with either myself or you can find Scott Cundall on empowermentpoint.com. And welcome, Scott Cundall. Yay. Thanks, Debbie. Um, all right, guys, so let's have some fun. Um, we are now going to show you uh, how uh, the Empowerment Point uh, Connector tool is going to work. It's a Chrome extension, but it's important to understand why. Like, why are you doing this? Like, what's the point? And the answer is, at the end of the day, what are you looking to do? You're looking to connect with people in Empowerment Point. You're looking to book one-on-ones with the right people. And then you're also looking to get referrals. So what this is going to do is it's going to magnify and turbocharge what is already happening within the Empowerment Point network. And that is about the human relationships, human referrals, warm introductions, and then ultimately booking great one-on-ones with people who can either become potential clients or partners that can send you business for the rest of your life, which is our dream, isn't it? So that's what it's about. So this is an enhancement tool for Empowerment Point. And it's just really, I just really want to want to iterate that. So congratulations, Debbie, for building a wonderful network. I know uh, how passionate you are and, and how much work has gone into it. And um, yeah, it's wonderful to see it growing the way it is. So I'm going to share my screens now. We're going to start right from the beginning. What I want you guys to do, and this is going to be very interactive today, and I would like you guys to, to to jump in at any time, but I've put the link in the chat and Debbie, you'll obviously have this link in an email. So you're probably watching this video right now from this page, which will have this video in it. Um, what I would like you guys to do to begin is I would like you to scroll down and go to the Chrome store. Uh, there's a little link in here. It'll say Google, Google Chrome on the Empowerment Point page over here. It'll give you the link. You click on that and it's going to take you to the Google Chrome store. I'll now, just, I need to mention something. I'll, I'll just add yes, really Debbie? quickly that this um, the page before was found under products our founder loves in the menu bar. Uh, so if you want to go to the Empowerment Point page, it'll be under products our founder loves. Here it is. Okay, the Empowerment Point Business Connector tool. All right. So it is the Empowerment Point. It is specifically for Empowerment Point. As you can see, it looks like Empowerment Point. Debbie's put the graphics together. It's in the Empowerment Point look and feel. Other than obviously owning the code, uh, it's 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 for all intensive outward purposes, um, an, empowerment, an Empowerment Point tool. This is, literally is an Empowerment Point. So you'll be downloading the Empowerment Point Chrome extension from the Chrome store. Um, a lot of people say, do you have one that works for Safari or Firefox? Unfortunately, we not, not yet. This will only work on Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. 
Um, so I just want to let you guys know that um, we will be looking at developing one. We're still a startup. Uh, you know, we're still growing limited resources. And one day we will be able to, to build a Safari version. But most people who use Mac have Chrome anyway. So you'll need to install this on Chrome or it works perfectly well on, on Microsoft Edge as well. So once you're on the screen, so I'd like you guys to do this now is I'd just like you to click the add to Chrome button and then click add extension. So if you guys want to do that now, I'll give you a second. Um, it should be relatively simple. You take it, you guys have found the page. <laughs> All good. Found the page. All that done. Great. There you go. Lovely. Now, what will happen is when you've installed it, it's going to disappear. Okay. It sits, there's a little icon. That's what you want. But as soon as you click the little X, it disappears. And it hides behind whatever this icon is. is. Is it a puzzle piece? Is it a key? Is it a gable to say, Chris Bantock, you will go to jail if the judge hammers down? Not quite sure. But anyway, you've got to click on it, whatever this thing is. Uh, then you, you click on it, and then you'll actually see Empowerment Point Connector Tool. You just click the pin button, and it'll now appear on here. So I'll give you guys a second, and let's see if you guys have managed to get your little icon appearing. All looking good, guys. Should be relatively simple. Well Takes a few seconds. Done? Yay. Done. Okay. Well done. Bravo. Bravo. Um, okay. So now click on this little lo lo icon. You'll have the Empowerment Point logo. Um, I'll talk to you about what this means, what hide from LinkedIn means later. Um, but for now, just click on the button that says proceed to LinkedIn. And it will take you directly to your LinkedIn profile page. If it gives you an error, if an error ever comes up here when you click on that, it's because you haven't logged into LinkedIn. Okay, so I'd love you guys to make sure you logged into LinkedIn and then just go through the process again. So some people who aren't logged into LinkedIn will get that error. Just go to your profile page. You should see your beautiful, happy, shining, smiling, handsome face back at you right there. All right. Now, once you're on your LinkedIn profile, you will see that this little beautiful purple empowerment point appears and you can scroll up and down to move it and you can minimize it or maximize it. A lot of people go, it gets in the way, blah, 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 blah. Um, it doesn't get in the way because you can move it and then you can minimize it if it is, if it's irritating you. Okay. And it's going to become very useful in the, in the future. Now, what I would like you to do is you'll see it says, is this you? I want you to click on the button that says, is this you? So you click on the button that says, is this you? Your happy, smiling, shining, handsome face will be staring back at you. And then you click, yes, this is me. And then you click, yes, this is me again. And congratulations, you're now logged in. There's no form to fill out. None of that absolute rubbish that you have to go through. Um, you are now logged in. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to minimize that now because somebody's asked me for a referral request. I'll get to that later. Um, and there you have it. You have now logged in. Once again, why are we doing this? Now, one of the key reasons that you're going to be doing this is you're going to be able to create your own private network. What is a private network? You have thousands of LinkedIn connections, and most of them you do not know or trust. What we're doing here today is we're creating your private network where you take those people out of LinkedIn that you know and trust into your own network. And it's only people you know and trust. The problem with LinkedIn is that there's all these connections, but no one really knows each other. Within the Empowerment Point and the Greater My Most Trusted Universe, everybody knows each other through one to two degrees of separation. Everybody's a real person. There's no spam. There's no fake profiles. And everybody in our network is real and genuine. They genuinely know and trust each other. I really want you guys to grasp the magnificence of that statement. Inside this Everybody is a real person who is known by one of the other people within the network. There are genuine trusted connections. It's not like LinkedIn where it's full of bots and fake profiles and VAs and all this kind of stuff. And it's just, you know, who's actually real and who's not. This is real and genuine. Why is that important? Because you can meet anybody in the 25,000 strong network if you're willing to go via a referral or an introduction to get there. This is all about referrals and it's all about warm introductions. Okay, so I just want to really understand why are we doing this? What's the point? That's the point. All right, so you're going to start really simply. All right, you're going to open this. All right, I want you to open this and you'll see the Empowerment Point members list. If you're not on this members list, if it says zero in the community or you're not a member, please make sure you contact Debbie immediately so she can put you on the members list. What you're about to see in this little box here can only be seen by Empowerment Point members. 
anybody else can see a lot of what you see right now. So it's fine for other people who are not Empowerment Point user, uh, um, members to use this tool. No problem. They can use the tool. They can have fun with it. They can enjoy it. But they can't see the members list. Only members can see the members list. So I want you to all click on the members list box now. I'm going to give you a second to do that. Um, just one little thing. Oh, when you Scott, first installed it, did, did it come Scott, up with a page mine's... asking you to fill out questions? My most trusted match me, yeah. Yes, right. Okay, so I'm going to show you that now. Thanks for bringing that up. All right, so what will happen is when you first install the Chrome extension, a, little, a box is going to come up saying the My Most Trusted Match Me feature. Just say I'll do this later for now. We're going to pop it up in a minute. I'm going to show you. So just, just at the bottom, just say I'll do this later. And I'm going to explain. That's really, really important. That's going to be one of the critical things we're talking about today. Um, so don't have to fill that in yet. I want to show you the why first. And I want you to go to the members list. So you guys have managed to do that. You're on it. Are you good? You're on the no, I'm, point member. I'm, I'm not on there. Can you just go back to where that, that is? Yep. So on the dashboard, can you get to the dashboard? Have you found your way to the dashboard? And you get to the dashboard by just clicking anywhere in this purple box once you've logged in and said, yes, this is me. So, so I'm not on LinkedIn at the moment. I'm on um, Empowerment Point. Have you installed the Chrome extension? Yeah, so I've done that. Um, so I may find it from LinkedIn. Yes. Okay. So if you're not if you're not on LinkedIn, then you can got... you can click on this little button over here, and you can just oh, click on the button here that says proceed to LinkedIn. Can you see my screen? It says proceed to LinkedIn, or just yes. go to LinkedIn. Just go to LinkedIn and go to me my profile. Just go to your profile page on LinkedIn. All I want yes. is I want the Chrome extension installed. And I want you on the page with your profile. Yeah. And then where do I go for the dashboard? Um, then click on the, do you see this yellow slide, this little pink, uh, purple slider? Right. Okay. okay. Does it say, is this you? If it says, is this you? Either yeah. way, click on it. Either the dashboard will open or another page will open, which you can just uh, um, remove for now. Um, but or it'll say, is this you? In which case you say, yes, this is me. And then you'll log right. in just by saying, yes, this is me twice. Okay, I found it now. Right, okay. Got it. Are you on the dashboard? I am, yeah. Yes, okay, good. Well done. Now, can, can I ask a question, button. Scott? Sure, yep. The list of people here, it says Empowerment Point members list. Is this only the people I can see from Empowerment Point? Or is this accessing the wider the wider MMT list. It's the, the, the 20, yeah. So you'll notice here, it'll say under trusted connections, it'll say 23,619 in the entire network. I'm going to show you how to access that later. So that's the greater network. And this is only the empowerment point members list. Okay. You will. So for now, we're going to keep it very simple and just go to the empowerment point members list. You will, though, Chris, be able to see our, our members, my most trusted people. Yes, yeah. which I'm going to show you that. Yeah. Okay. So, are you guys, or you got you? Can you guys see the members list? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, this is all the members of Empowerment Point. All right. So, this is the members list of Empowerment Point, and you can change the the number of results per page. But now it's going to get fun. All right. So now we're going to tell the system who you want to get in front of. And we're going to start activating what is called Match Me. So on the little hamburger icon over here, the little three lines, I'd like you to click on that. And I'd like you to click on MMT Match Me. And that's going to bring up this page, which you saw earlier. Spend a minute just reading through this. This is the AI feature that's going to match you with individuals who are most like your requirements. And each is going to be rated as a, on a scale of one to 10. It's important that you keep your, dis, your description simple and precise because the, the AI is still kind of in its infancy. And over time, as we get better and better, it'll get better and better because as the technology improved. Now, there's three questions for you to answer. Now, you don't have to do it perfectly right now, but I would like you to make a start. People I should meet should be located in, right? So, Chris, you might want to say the United Kingdom. 
Okay. If this is where well, this is where so the people you want to meet. Limit. Yes. So in other words, if you're happy to meet people anywhere in the world for clients or customers or partners, then just leave it blank. Just leave it blank. But if you're if you want to meet only in your city or you're in Toronto or you're in London or you're in a country, just say put that country in there. So just say just type in the United Kingdom because you only want to meet people. You can also do an exclusion here. All right. So because you guys, you know, Joe's from Yorkshire, right? You're going to say, I do not want to meet people from Manchester, <laughs> for example. All right. Yeah, I've got the joke. Well done. Okay. <laughs> so, but the point is you can say, um, I don't, I don't want to meet people in these countries or these cities or these areas. So it's people I would like to meet should be located in these countries and people who I would like to meet should not be located. Leave it blank if it's worldwide or not applicable. Do you want to quickly type that in now? And I'll give you a minute, uh, 30 seconds to quickly type that in. It should, it should be relatively simple. And then we're going to get to the third question, which is the most important one, which is people I would like to meet should be like this. All good. Great. So just for people on the video, I want to just kind of uh, pick up the pace a little bit. Now, what you want to do is just simply and concisely say people I would like to meet should be like this. So, for example, I've put here owners of companies that clearly and specifically offer any one of these things. Digital marketing, lead generation, funnel building, marketing automation, marketing consulting, advertising, LinkedIn marketing. Um, you can use plain English to do it because it's AI. Um, and I, what I would put here just as an example is I do not want to meet life coaches. I have no problem meeting life coaches in real life. So don't be offended if you're a life coach. I'm just showing this as an example. But I'm looking for, I'm specifically looking people that are in digital marketing. That's who I'm specifically looking for. And I left this blank so anywhere in the world. So quickly type in a sentence or two and say, you know, I'm looking for owners or people who run agencies in the United Kingdom, although you don't have to put United Kingdom because you put it earlier. So Chris, you would say, I'm looking to meet owners of digital agencies or advertising agencies of some kind. Very simple. One line, guys. Quick, simple, easy. While you guys are typing that, for those people that are watching the video, as you, you can pause the video if you like, if you need to, you'll see two notes. Um, you can come back to this page anytime and update by changing your settings if you want to. And just a just a, a reiteration that you know this is still new, so don't expect the scores to work 100% straight away. It might take time uh, for it to get better and better um, over time as it gets better. Um, and then you've got a little box over here that says tick this box to reset your scores and start over. So if you've run a whole lot of scores and your target audience changes and you want to start over from scratch, you can tick this. You can tick this box, um, and you can do that. And I'll talk about the difference between the free version. And 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 uh, and the premium version. So far, everything you've seen right now is free. You don't need to upgrade at all for what. There's a lot of great free stuff, but there's some really great stuff uh, like Chris has uploaded up, up to, um, has gone unlimited to upload to premium. So once you've done that, will you please click the update button? Do you need another few seconds, guys? How are you looking? Okay, nearly there. Yeah, I'll give you a few more seconds and then hit the update Seems button. We what, you come back and, yeah, and you can it. come back and yeah, just try and keep it really simple. And the reason for this is um, you want, you're going to tell the system. We've got 25,000 people in the broader network, 70 in the empowerment point. The trusted connections takes the empowerment point family to into the thousands. Who do you meet first, guys? How do you know who you need to meet first? The scoring session right section right now, which says question mark out of 10, is going to run the scores. So I want you to all click the little circle spinner icon over here, right? Click on that, and you'll start to see it's all going to start scoring. Yes, Chris, you got Sorry, a question. Can you just do that bit again? I missed I was on a different screen then. What were you clicking then? Um there's a little there was a little spinner icon next to all their right. names. Okay. What people um, I want I need to, to find out. You... Sorry, the question Where's... was people yep. you want to meet. Can you put two types of audiences in the same in that field? Yes, you can. So put one audience and then put or this audience. Or okay. Yeah. 
We will, if it, there's a, the might see, so we run through chat GPT guys, and sometimes it gives an error. Um, this is not us. It's actually chat GPT returning an error. So what I'll do is I'll get the tech guys to have a look at that and um, uh, down the line, and I'll just see if we can find ways to, to cover this. But if you do see these little things, just bear with us. Um, but most of the time it should work. It should work pretty well. Okay. Um, I haven't got the update wheel, although I've just put that in. Do you, do you see scores next to their name? No, I've just still got the question mark. Yeah, I've got question marks. But there I should haven't be a spinner got, next to the name. I haven't got the spinner next to the names. No, I haven't either. Uh, I, I don't understand. What, what, does, it say, does it say question mark out of 10? Yeah. Yeah. And there's no spinner next to the names? No. no. Okay, I don't understand. Uh, and you just updated the new version. I don't understand. That should it's on mine. We got the same version here. Debbie, do you see it on yours? Uh let me give me a moment. I'll just have a look. Um, okay. Well, for those of you watching this, let's just carry on. Sorry, guys, you're just gonna have to follow. You just I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at why it's not doing that on, on your specific computers. Um, but for those of you, the rest of you, just for the video purposes, I just want to carry on. You should see a little spinner, these spinner icons here. Um, and uh, you just click the spinner icons and it'll run the scores. Um, and now what it'll do is it'll show you um, scores out of 10. Oh, actually there, if you if you actually go back, if you go forward and back, um, the spinners might appear. You can try it again. I've just, re oh, still giving... I've just refreshed and it's come come up now. Oh, okay. Oh, it? okay. Okay, good. Okay, so you might have to refresh there. We're middle, it might be a little a little glitch there we just have to look at. But it should show the scores. You run the scores. Now, what it'll do is it'll show you. Um, I look for people who are 8 out of 10 or higher. So, for example, it's immediately told me that Ashan is 8 out of 10. Uh, and if you mouse over, it tells me why. Ashan Pinto has experience in digital marketing, SEO, which aligns to your criteria, background in business development and, and sales, understanding marketing, lead generation. He's a director of global expertise in marketing automation. So it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Um, sometimes, it can, depending on what you're looking for, it can be very accurate. In in other cases, if it's complicated, so you've got to you've got to kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, but there are some that have got still got a question mark. And Joanne, don't yeah, take so, this. So, Joanne, don't take this personally. But when I hover over you, it says bad request. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a prop it's a it's a problem with ChatGPT. We use ChatGPT to make those requests, and it's getting it's an error from ChatGPT. Um, so okay. we'll, this will be fixed by the time um within the next week or two. It's a it's it's we're dealing with technology that's still new, hey, and Chat ChatGPT can take its time. Um, but most of them should you should still see them, and you can go onto the next page as well, uh, and then um you can run the scores on the next page as well. Yeah, definitely seems like there's a lot of errors coming up, but uh, this is something we'll just have to fix over time. Two out of 10, two out of, there's another eight out of 10. So Toby's eight out of 10, and it'll actually, you can mouse over. So what it's doing now is it's scoring, and it's actually showing which guys that you can potentially meet first. There, it's worked much better here. There's only one error on this one. It's just dealing with the technology and dealing, going into chat GPT. Sometimes it just returns an error. It's frustrating, but yeah. Chris has a question. Yes. You said you wanted it to be interactive. Um, can you sort sort these by like the highest rank to the lowest? Um, well, not yet. It's going, one of the things we're going to be coming soon. It's one of the things we, okay. we're still developing. Cool. Is you'll be able to say, for example, only show them if they're a certain score, etc. So what happens is it costs us money every time you make a request. So we have to, you've got to run them for the next 10 and then you run them the next 10. So we don't want people running hundreds of these at once. Um, it'll mm. cost us a fortune. So we have to be very careful in how we do it. So you run 10 and 10 and it's slowly, slowly. And then you find someone you want to meet. Cool. I want to meet Toby. Then you can actually um, obviously reach out and meet him as an empowerment point connector. Um, what you'll also see in brackets is tr their, their trusted connections. This is where it's going to get really cool. Now, there are 70 members of, of empowerment point at the moment, but many of them have got trusted connections as well. So for example, Jane Vandermeer has got 27 trusted connections. So if I click on the, on if I click on it where it says twenty seven trusted connections, it'll actually show me all of all of Jane Vandermeer's trusted connections. 
In this case, I know most of them. Let's see if there's anybody that I don't know. And I can actually request an introduction. Or oh, we've got very similar. There, you can see you can also run run the scores on these guys as well. And you can see, so what it's actually showing guys, I think this is really important to understand is it's showing you the trusted connections of people within the network. So in other words, if I go out and I meet Jane Vandermeer, I can see Jane Vandermeer has got a whole bunch of pretty good people for me to meet. So by meeting Jane Vandermeer and adding her as a trusted connection, which I'll show you how to do now, I can then start getting introdu introductions to a whole bunch of other people. I just want to pause for a second to help you understand what's actually happening here. So back onto the members list. These are the empowerment point members. They're, they have added their trusted connections, people they know and trust. So you're not just meeting Wasim. You're meeting Wasim with an opportunity to potentially meet his nine trusted connections. Now, with, these, with the scoring, only premium members, you'll have to upgrade to premium if you want the scoring to work on anyone outside of your own network or the empowerment point network. So Chris, you're a premium member, so you can see you can run scores on anybody. In fact, if you actually go to LinkedIn and you go to somebody's LinkedIn profile, you'll actually notice it'll actually run the score on a LinkedIn profile as well. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, takes that. a few seconds and again it'll get and so it's 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 interesting. So Debbie, um, it hasn't seen Debbie as somebody who's although she's great with networks, it hasn't shown that she's uh, specifically into digital marketing. So I'm so I've put I'm really one people who are involved in digital marketing or marketing ex, uh, experience. Um so it'll rate it'll rate them. So it'll there you have your um your rating. I can then introduce Debbie to somebody else by clicking the introduction button. Um, from this page, it's completely revolutionized the LinkedIn page. LinkedIn is useless pretty much. Now, with this page, you can do some great things. You can introduce Debbie to another trusted connection, and I'll talk about trusted connections in a second. Um, I can even get deep insights into Debbie's personality. So by clicking on deep insights into Debbie's personality, it summarizes Debbie's LinkedIn profile. And based on their required information, it, it can't give her a disk profile, but it, she doesn't have enough on her profile. But it'll actually give you, let's try Chris Bantock. It'll actually give you the disk profile, the Myers-Briggs profile, and um, uh, disk Myers-Briggs and Enneagram, and the Enneagram personality test. And it'll also say three things that make this person excited are helping business gain their control of their business, et cetera. So what it's doing is before you meet somebody, you want to get to know somebody, this will actually run a personality test through through um, by using Mama's Trusted. Let's let's see what it says about Chris Bantock, shall we? <laughs> Yo, let's, let's do. All right, so there's deep, deep insights into Chris's personality. In, in the DISC profile, Chris Bantock would likely fall under the D category, dominance. And it's good. He's given seven out of ten, yeah, because you're marketing. Oh. So that's better. What's that um, symbol next to the number, the, the gold image? Ah, uh, that's yes, that's called a golden recommendation. Now, golden recommendations are wonderful. So Chris has got a golden recommendation from Debbie. Now, what Thanks, this Debbie. means is this is what yeah, Debbie, you, well done, Debs. So Debs really tr knows and trusts Chris and vouches for him. If you truly personally vouch for somebody, you give them a golden recommendation. Not like a stupid LinkedIn recommendation where everybody just, I get spammers that 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 give me recommendations just to win favor to try and book a meeting. It's ridiculous. It's just, it's a joke. This is a real proper golden recommendation. Um, and the way I'll show you how to do to give golden recommendations in a minute, but that's what that's what a golden recommendation is. So you've you've got access to their personalities, um, and you can also add them as a a trusted connection. But you've also got the trust o meter. All right. Now the trust o meter is the o meter you can trust. What it means is you you can move your way up the trust o meter as you use my most trusted or the empowerment point connector more and more. So right now Chris is currently a newbie. So Chris, your next step is to get to junior networker. If you go to your LinkedIn profile page and you click on the trust a meter on your LinkedIn profile, it'll tell you what you need to, to do to reach the next level. 
And your goal is to go to junior networker and then to senior networker and then to super connector and then eventually to trusted advocate. So if we go back to Debbie Small, for example, um, just refresh. Why is that trusted meter coming up? There's her trusted meter. She's a super connector. So Debbie has worked really hard to work her way up to the trust meter to get to reach that super connector status. I'd expect nothing less. Okay, so you can start to see. So when you go onto your dashboard, you'll see where you are on the trust meter over here and what you need to do to accomplish accomplish the next level and then what the rewards are there's help videos here guys so the help videos will take you through i do not have time today to go through every little piece of my most trusted um because you can learn to introduce each other people to each other it's amazing so i'm going, going to quickly now take you to on how you are how do you actually um, add somebody as a trusted connection so what i'm going to quickly do here is i'm going to go to going to go to the search function all right so you guys can watch me so i'll show you how to use the search function but i'm going to search for debbie now, Debbie is already a trusted connection of mine. I've added her, but for demo purposes, I want to remove her and start and, and show you how to add her again. So I've done a search for Debbie. This is just like a LinkedIn search. This can become your best friend. You can run your scores if you want to as well on your trusted on, on, on your current connections. Um, there's Debbie. I'm going to click the remove connection button. Uh, then I'm going to click remove connection. Okay, so I've removed there. Now you'll notice that there's a when I go to her LinkedIn profile and she does need to be a first degree trusted connection, it'll allow me to read Debbie's personality and also add Debbie as a trusted connection. So this is where it gets exciting, guys, because when you're onto somebody's LinkedIn profile, it's telling me who else Debbie knows. This is really cool because what it means is if I if I if I'm on somebody's LinkedIn profile and I really want to book a meeting with them, I would love to get in front of this person. It's possible that they're a trusted connection of somebody in the network. So don't reach out to them cold. Instead, see who else knows them in the network, meet somebody in the network and get a warm introduction to the person. Do you see the difference, guys? We're, we're, we're getting rid of this kind of cold outreach spammy approach and replacing it with actual proper warm introductions. So I can see who else Debbie knows. So this is, so it's great. So if I went to, for example, similar with Chris Bantock, it'll do the same kind of thing. It'll tell me who else Chris knows. So then if I click here, add Debbie as a trusted connection, all I do, right, is I can say, yes, I trust this person straight away, but I can also tag Debbie. So for example, I can say, I met Debbie Business Networking, um, lovely lady, Runs Empowerment Point, lives in Melbourne. Shame, man. Okay, there you go. So then I can say, yes, I trust this person. And it's almost like a, a, a an entry-level primitive CRM in that way, but we're not meant to be a CRM. We're meant to be, you're building a private network. So you say, yes, I trust this person. And now Debbie has now been added into my trusted network. She's now in my trusted network. It pops up a, a potential message, which I can edit to say, Debbie, I've added you to my trusted networks. And I can send this to her. I can edit it a bit if I want to. But a little message has popped up. And I can then send Debbie saying, Debbie, I've added you to Trusted Connection. Um, if you want to um, uh, get involved in the Empowerment Point Connector tool, Debbie, what you probably want to do is change this link to your new link. Okay, just send us an email. So it's no longer takes people to the Chrome store. It takes them to the Empowerment Point page. Um, so just pop us an email and we'll, we'll update this for you. We can update this. So do you see what's happened? I've now added Debbie. I can now see Debbie's trusted connections. A new button has appeared called view Debbie's trusted connections. I can now see Debbie's trusted connections and she can see mine and I can request introductions to these people. So watch what I do now. Now this is, I can only run scores on premium, but I can request introductions on the free version. So I don't have to upgrade to request an introduction. But because I'm a premium user, I'm going to quickly roll the dice here and see what the scores are. Let's see what scores come up. And if there's anyone I want to meet. There, Dean is 7 out of 10, right? Dean is a 7. Is there, Are there any 8s at the moment? I don't see any. There, Anna. Okay, I already know Anna. 
but Anna is an eight out of 10, which is exactly right, because she is a marketing person. Uh, let's say it's Chris Robinson. All right, I want to meet Chris Robinson, different, definitely Chris Robinson, kind of person I want to meet. I can then click request introduction. I give Debbie a reason why I want to meet Christopher, request the introduction, and boom. It will ask Debbie for an introduction. So this little request introduction button is useful because you can get in front of people. Don't be shy to request an introduction. Chris, are you shy? <laughs> are you a shy guy? Only only on one Friday of the month. Okay, <laughs> right. So any, every other day, I want you to be very, very, very aggressive in a good positive sense and not be shy to ask Debbie for an introduction or anyone in your trusted network. As you build your private trusted network, you can see their trusted connections and you can request introductions. So if I want to meet Chris Robinson or if I want to meet Dean, I click request introduction. You never say a sales pitch. It'll always be something along the lines lines of uh, Dean is in marketing. He is exactly the guy. He he runs a great business. I would love love to meet him, and talk win win, and see how we can help each other. Can I just add something to this? That sure, it's a really great idea. So so if I got the if I got the message saying that you wanted an introduction with somebody, then I can, one of the best things to do is you nurture and build relationships. So what I what I do is I call that person up or I connect with that person, letting them know that uh, this is the introduction. Are they happy for me to introduce them? And they say yes, and then I do the introduction. So what it does is it connects me back with that person and then I get to have a chat with them and you never know where that might lead either. So it's a really great way to nurture the relationships with the people that you already have as well. That's a very good point. And that's the same with the golden recommendation. So I'll show you how that happens as well. So you're right. You, 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 haven't, you might not have met. I might not have seen Debbie for months. So by adding her into my trusted network, I'm reaching out to her and go, hey, Debbie, it's been ages. Let's touch base. I've added you to, to my trusted network. Let's have a meeting sometime. You're rekindling the relationships you have with people. And that is what you want to do in business. You want to keep those relationships alive. Um, now, what you can also do is if I go to, I'm going to do, I can reset my search over here. You'll notice that Debbie Small will now be at the top of the list of my trusted connections, and she's got 487 trusted connections. So you can just have a field day getting getting referrals from Debbie. Um, you'll notice that there's a little middle button over here called contact details. If you push the contact details, you can get names, phone numbers. So he's got, oh, sorry, Debbie, this is only, it's a private uh, video. So um, your phone number has just been given to all your members. Um, and there's her details, right? There's personal notes that I've put. You can create tags, as I showed you, business club owner, business networking, et cetera. Now, to give a golden recommendation, it's a special type of tag. So you can create your own tags. I don't want to go into too much detail. For those of you who know tags, they know how they work. But if I do a search, I can search for golden recommendation and I can give Debbie a golden recommendation. Okay, so I've just given Debbie a golden recommendation. I think she's already called it different. And then, hi, Debbie, I've just endorsed you with a golden recommendation and put my name to it. So now I've given Debbie a golden recommendation. You need to give and receive golden recommendations to go up the truster meter. And that's how Debbie, by giving and receiving golden recommendations, Debbie went up the trust meter. So now you've got this incredible situation where you're building, you're building your trusted network and you can see your trusted network's trusted network and you can request introductions. So I can sit here and I can run the scores on Debbie's connections. I can find people and I can go, oh, I'd like to meet Darren. Uh, I'd like to meet Dean. I would like to meet Christopher. I would I already know Anna. Um and just go to next page, next page, next page, and request introductions. You can book meetings like this, left, right, and center. Yes, Chris? Um, just onto tags. We can create our own tags, can we? Correct. That's right. So let me quickly show that because I did rush that a little bit. Um, okay. I'll go back to I'll go back to the search button over there, here. Is the there top. a limit on the number of tags you can have? No. You can um, you click on contact details. Now, some tags are already built in. So um, 
Uh, so here's Jason, for example. Uh, some he's a, a he came from a website inquiry, so he's tagged website. Now some of them are already on here. So there's work colleague, friend, past client, supplier. Uh, some of them I've made. Hundred Club member, that's one of mine. Bip One Hundred, that's what I'm, uh, one of mine that I've made. But business club owner, Connect Collaborative. Um, it also say who they've introduced to. There's a whole. There's a combination. There's there's tags that are already exist. Like I can tag this person as a as a former work colleague or a business networking. For example, right? They have tagged them as business networking. I can remove it, or I can create my own tag by saying, for example, test, and then I can click test. There it is. I've created my own tag called test. So you can create your own tags as well. So what you're doing is you're building your own private network and tagging them because these are the people that are going to make you successful. You're taking the crap that you're leaving the crap in LinkedIn and you're taking only the people that matter and putting them into your own private network. Now you can start requesting introductions because if I go to Debbie Small's 487 trusted connection, I know that Debbie knows all of these people. I know that she knows them. So I know she can give me an introduction. I know I'm going to guess, um, you know, Darren, right? Darren Finkelstein, uh, Debbie? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And you know, Anne Hollard? I do. She knows these people. That means you can get an, she can give you an introduction. So do you see how it all comes together? So your goal is to add your trusted connections, build your own private network, work with an empowerment point, grow, grow, grow. And as you grow your private network, you're then tapping into other people's private networks as well. And just to add to that, um, Scott, don't put people onto your, it's not about a numbers game. It's about relationship building and growing relationships. So it's not about how many can I get. It's about building those relationships. So if you're happy to go for a coffee with any of these people, by all means, put them onto your My Most Trusted. But if you wouldn't really connect with them, then don't put them onto your My Most Trusted. Because someone's going to call you or, or contact you in order to be connected to these people as well. So it's about connections with real people that you're happy to go for a coffee with and that you trust. Yeah. So that's how you build your 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 net with your network. So yeah. I've met every single one of these 926 people because I've met I, I don't even know. I've done thousands of meetings in the last 18, two years or so. So, you know, I, I, as you grow it now, now with the search, you can also um, Chris, actually start just, actually sorry, really Scott, getting sorry, Scott, yes, Chris. Question from Chris. Another one on, on the listing. So if I click on Debbie's, you know, 400 odd connections, can I see which one of them I'm connected to on LinkedIn on, or not? No, not on LinkedIn. Um, you, okay. Well, yes, you can. Sorry, you, but by going to their LinkedIn profile. So if I go to Debbie's 487 yeah. connections um, and I go to, um, let's go to Mark, all right? Uh, I can click on his LinkedIn profile. Yeah. But, but and I then you'll see whether you're connected on LinkedIn. I, I, in the search, I can't go look at all Debbie's connections that I'm not a first degree LinkedIn no, connected. no, no, no. And we don't want to because we don't care about LinkedIn. What we care about is real, genuine, trusted connections. So the degrees that you're searching for here are trusted connection degrees. I don't yeah. care about LinkedIn because that most of it's crap. It doesn't make any, make any difference. What I care about is, are these real people? So here, let me give you an example, right? I'm going to reset the search and I'm going to search for a lawyer because I want to meet lawyers and the, and the country I want to meet lawyers in is Australia. So I'm going to meet looking for people with job title lawyer in Australia. What it's done is it's found nobody in my first degree in my trusted connections. Mm -hmm. So I expand this, expand the search to second degree. Now it's looking for lawyers of people that I know. So I could get a direct referral to any of these lawyers in Australia. Let's see if anybody comes up. You'll notice that we've, mimicked the LinkedIn search here. There, lawyer, 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 the drone lawyer, intellectual property lawyer. These are all lawyers in Australia. I do not know any of these lawyers, but if I'm targeting lawyers in Australia, there are 20 lawyers, and I. but I do know Darren, Rashid, and Jason. I know all of these people, but I don't know the lawyers. So I can just yeah. get request introduction, request introduction, request introduction, request introduction, and I can have a meeting. I can probably get, out of those 20 lawyers, I can probably get 15 introductions within half an hour 
It's unbelievable, like how powerful this is. So if you want to search, for example, job title, um, uh, advertising or whatever it's got to be or whoever it's going to be, you can, you can do industry. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit lesser, but you can use the search. Yeah, brand. There you go. So if I searched for any one brand, oh, let's go out of Australia and search worldwide. Um, and let's see what comes up. It'll search the same kind of thing. So search for anybody for brand. So the same kind of thing for you, Chris. Then, because you might want specific uh, people within the brand manager, you can run the scores. It'll only you have to be upgrade to premium to run scores on the second degree. Um, then you will basically be able to run scores, and you can see there direct uh, brand uh, innovative brand of solutions. Per probably perfect for you, based in Sydney. There you go, yeah. Julian. So you want to meet Julian? Request an introduction. Kel Holiday. Yeah. Hey, Kel, mate. Please introduce me to Julian. Great sets up the introduction there and then off you go mm -hmm. powerful hey? and it's all direct this all direct direct connections so so when you so now how much time do we have debbie as, as much as you need oh i love people that say that don't worry i won't i won't keep you forever it's okay now, it's all right this is important once you've requested an introduction right once you've requested an introduction a message, let's say somebody, which has happened now, they've asked me for an introduction. It's This little message will pop up. Scott, you have been asked to make an introduction. Click here. That's one place I can find it. It alerts me and says somebody's asking me to make an introduction. Also, if I go to the dashboard, um, it'll say here, two introductions awaiting approval. Not very good grammar. We'll fix that. But anyway, it makes sense. Because um, normally it's one introduction is. But um. I must take away the word is. You're going to find little things, guys. We're a startup. Bear with us. It might be the odd little grammar issue here and there. Um, so um, two introductions awaiting approval. I can click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to show me that there's two introductions awaiting approval. Let me show you that again. I'm going to close this down. I can also, if an alert pops up, Scott, you've been asked to make an introduction. Click here. I click here. Two people. I can. There's a switch. Only show introductions awaiting approval. This shows... People make introductions and receive introductions, but they don't keep a record of the introductions that they make. This referral history page keeps an introduction record of all the introductions that you've made if you ever want to follow up later. So I just wanted to show you that. Now, there's two where, introductions. Where do you go to see that? Sorry, Scott, where do you go to see that? On the dashboard, referral history. Referral history. The block that says referral or in the menu, or in the menu over here, referral history. And there's two. You see, there's two referrals waiting for me to deal with. I can turn on the switch. That's only going to show the two that I'm waiting. And there's three little dots. Okay, so watch what happens now, guys. So Kachina has asked me for two introductions. Kachina would like to meet Peter Hingston, and Kachina would like to meet Scott Landis. Okay, now click these three little dots to deal with them. You're introducing Peter Hingston to Kachina. The reason, uh, Kachina says, I would love an intro to Peter to learn more about his community and business directory in South Africa. We're looking at hiring some local talent for our business as we grow. Perfect introduction. Peter's perfect to meet Kachina, right? Need to fix that little grammar error and we'll get onto that. Um, I can then accept or decline. I'm going to accept this. Okay. Now it says, who would you like to introduce Peter Hingston to? Kachina Goslin. It starts writing it. Hi, Kachina. Allow me to introduce you to Peter King Kingston. Hi, Peter. Kachina is amazing. Amazing. And she asked to meet you personally. I'm going to use what she wrote before. She, she says... I would love to meet Peter to learn more about his community da, 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 as we grow. Over to you two. May <laughs> this be one meeting that changes your life. That's what I always say. Okay. So now I'm making the introduction. I'm introducing people to each other. I click the introduce button. Now watch what happens. When I click introduce, a, a couple of things happen. 
First of all, in the background, it's preparing a message, an email that goes out. So it's going to send an email out to make that introduction. So they will get an email. Peter will get an email. Kachina will get an email. I'll get an email. All CC'd on the email introducing each other. Okay, that's number one. Number two, it's going to build a group chat on LinkedIn. See this? Peter, Kachina, and myself. It's built. This is a pain to do normally. Hi, Kachina. Allow me to introduce you to Peter. Peter, Kachina is amazing. She asked me to meet you personally today. It's already written the message for me. Done. It's written the message. It's built the, it's built the group chat. I can now click send. And I've made that introduction. This is legit, guys. This is a live introduction. Then one more finally things happens. I want to post this introduction on LinkedIn. Look what it's done. Making quality connections to help others grow is something I love to do. So I just introduced two amazing people to each other, Kachina Goslin and Peter Hingston. Introducing the phenomenal Peter Hingston, the community director for B2B service-based entrepreneurs, networking skills. ChatGPT has written this for me, so I don't have to write them. Kachina Goslin, the CEO, executive coach, da 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 I hope you two go forth and make business magic together. Are you a member of the Empowerment Point Connected Tool yet? Thanks, Empowerment Point, my most trusted network. And all the hashtags are done for me. All I need to do is push post. Do LinkedIn you... loves this kind of post. In regards to the AI on there, do you need premium for that? Uh, no, you don't. And what happens if you press decline? Uh, then it basically, it'll just, it won't go forward. It'll just flag it as decline. It'll pop up a message, which you can then say, sorry, I don't want to introduce you. It doesn't happen very often, but you do have the right to not, <laughs> to not introduce someone if you don't want to. Yeah. So here it is. See what it's done? It's tagged Kachina and tagged Peter in the LinkedIn post. It's done a whole write-up about them. And it's put the tags and everything in here. LinkedIn loves for, this. It's great for Flippin everyone's loves branding. For everyone's branding. Yeah. Yeah. So I've just done a LinkedIn post where I've just talked about Kachina, how great Kachina and Peter are. It's great, eh? Now, mm. if I go back, it's now done. There, you see, it's now done. Scott Cunnell introduced Peter to Kachina. And I've got one more I've got to do. I can also, there's other ways of introducing as well. So if I go to Chris Bantock, and I've done this before for you, Chris, a few times, I think. And yes, you have. I go to Chris's page, and there's a couple of things I can do. I can say, introduce Chris to a trusted connection over here. Or I can go to introduce Chris Bantock using this button over here. That's the same thing. Who do I want to introduce Chris Bank talk to? Debbie Small. And hi, Debbie. Allow me to use Chris Bank talk. Chris Debbie is da 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 And you fill it out. Boom. You can do those introductions right there and then on the tool. Before I carry on, guys, how are you feeling? Good. All good. Very good, yeah. You're making introductions, you're receiving introductions, you're making golden, giving golden recommendations, you're receiving golden recommendations, you're working your way up the trust o meter. And then you can obviously, um, you just, it, you just, business goes ballistic. You're searching, you're scoring. So you can see. Now, this is one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. Let me refresh to see if there's anybody new. Maybe I'll get lucky and show you. This is one of my favorite parts. If at any time you're on LinkedIn and you open My Most Trusted, it gives something called community activity. Now, if you're on the free version, you can only see three people in the community activity. If you're using the uh, premium, you can see everybody. You can go back the whole history. And what it's doing is it's showing you live what people are doing. So at 9.59 a.m. this morning, which is like an hour ago, Nikki Marshall added Susie Briscoe. Jeff mm -hmm. Gosling added Steve Harrington. Uh, Brad Bartlett added Alan Batchelor. And it's scoring them as they go. So. Right now, an hour ago, Jeff added Steve Harrington. And I'm thinking, my gosh, Steve Harrington is eight out of 10. I need to meet Steve. I can click the re request an introduction button right there and then boom, I can get an introduction. This is the what's going on. So it's showing me Steve added Helen. Um, it also showed me that on uh, at uh, 4.19 a.m. my time, which is Australians were awake, and my connection, Anthony Pearl added 
Andy. Uh, let's see who else is added, 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 added. But it shows you other things as well, not just people who are added. It's all added. Um, it'll also show you other things. Like if somebody has gone up the trust -a meter, it'll notify you. If an introduction has been made, um, it'll, it'll show them. There, see, it's doing the scoring, and I can quickly see. So while your trusted connections are adding new people, it's running the scoring, running the scoring, running the scoring. So really, really, my uh, the Empowerment Point Connector tool, also known as My Most Trusted, is a fabulous way for lead generation. And getting the premium version puts lead generation at the next level. Totally. See, on yesterday at 6.06 p.m., Sherry Mills introduced Mike Waters to Coach Lee Hopkins. So Chris it's actually showing you as people are moving. Yeah, Chris? Is there any limit to the number of introductions that you can make? Because I could see somebody using this to introduction, introduction, introduction. On uh, There are sublimits on the free version, but if you have upgraded to premium, you can have unlimited. But also, yeah. too, I'm thinking that if someone's going over the top, uh, Scott would be able to catch it out as well. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, if, if it's a legitimate, remember, in order to introduce two people to each other, they have to be trusted connections. That's it. So somebody's only going to do this if it's legit. I don't mind. We want people to make introductions. It's important. A guy like Darren yeah. Barch in Australia, and if you know Darren, he yeah. makes tons of introductions. He's an introduction machine. Um, he's an absolute legend. Like he's using this all the time. So it shows you, this shows you who's introduced who. Um, every now and again, it pops up and says one of your, your people has, has added the Chrome extension. Um, every now and again, it shows you somebody's just become a, um, uh, it, it has gone up the trust meter. There we go. Someone there, Jason Farr gave me a golden recommendation. There we go. Jason just added, a, just attained a junior networker status. It's telling you what your community is doing and how they are introducing people. Because this is what makes business work, introductions and referrals. It's the core of business. So now we're showing this. Cool, hey? Very. Anybody would have thought you'd been working on this for years, Scott. <laughs> Yes. Blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into this, guys. I have to tell you. <laughs> uh, so it says it's telling me Chris Bantock has 25 trusted connections. So let's view Chris's trusted connections. It does a search for Chris Bantock, second degree, my second degree, which is Chris's first degree. And these are all Chris's trusted connections. Um, I can run the scoring on Chris's scoring to see if there's anybody here that that uh, is immediately is somebody that I might potentially want to meet because I know how much Chris loves giving referrals. Or oh, there's a 7 out of 10, Andy Steer. I mouse over, it gives me a reason. Request an introduction. Boom, there I go. Oh, Ian Randall, 8 out of 10. 17 years of experience in web development industry, uh, skills in web development design, SEO, and digital marketing allow with my interest. Boom, I want to meet Ian. Request introduction. Thanks, Chris. Off we go. Meanwhile... Empowerment point, who's new in empowerment point? I go and I check out the empowerment point members list, right? I can run the scoring again to see who's there, who's new. And I can see if there's anyone in empowerment point that I want to meet. Haven't met yet. Well, I'm going to set up a one-on-one -on -one with Ashan. Boom, off we go. To see how it all comes together. And you can say, you can just start adding them. You meet people in empowerment point. You add them to your trusted connections. You look at their trusted connections and it just starts to create this beautiful, amazing um, family where everybody's just giving and receiving referrals and working their way up the trust meter. There's a ton of other stuff that my most trusted can do, but I really don't want to go into any more detail. I think this is the basics. What I've shown you now is, um, is really powerful. There are help videos on here for more additional help uh, videos where you can learn tons of, of stuff, very short little help videos. It's called the Chronicles of My Most Trusted. It's, I train people on the core version, but it's exactly the same. Um, there's some really good ones over here. Like, you, for example, if you're a premium member, you can send a bulk email to all your trusted connections. Your trusted connections belong to you, not LinkedIn. You, you are, are, are your custodian of your trusted connections. And if you want to send an email out to all of your trusted connections, then you can do that using premium as well. Um, I'll go and I train you how to, how to do, use the search properly, the personality test, the introductions that I've just shown you, additional features that you probably don't even know exist. Um, I, I train through MatchMe, um, the whole process. So if you guys want to learn, there's your, there's your, uh, there's your,
there it is there. So you guys can just just use it. I mean, I can't tell you how much it, it it's a game changer. I get all my meetings from this. All my meetings have come from referrals using this this little tool. So, guys, any questions? Excellent. I think it's um, on the whole, it's really quite intuitive. Any other questions Great. at all? Thanks for that, Joanne. Any other questions at all? Scott, is there anything else that you want to mention in regards to premium at all? The only thing I want to mention, Debbie, is that if you are a member of Empowerment Point and you're on the members in, members list, then you get, um, instead of paying $48 a month for a premium, you only pay $24 a month. You get it at half price. So like Chris, you've already on the $24 special anyway. So jo, Joanne, for example, anyone else watching this, if because you're a member of Empowerment Point, you get it at half price. You can upgrade to premium at half price, $24 a month. Um, and you get unlimited access to everything. So uh, yeah. The scoring is about a dozen features. Yeah. Unlimited access. You can make as many introductions as you want, referrals, all that kind of thing. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Scott. That is absolutely amazing. And the training was absolutely brilliant. Whether you're a newbie or not, you're actually going to learn so much with this training. And the most wonderful thing is it's about building relationships. It's about nurturing relationships and building ongoing relationships with people. And we do, we get spammed that many times and scammed and, and people trying to sell to us and all of that. And this takes it away because people know people. And these are the connections that people who you know, know as well. So keep building real connections and real uh, and, and, and make real business and really, you know, magic happens everywhere as well. So again, thank you, Scott, uh, for building it, for creating it and for allowing us to white label it as well. And again, um, if you are a member of Empowerment Point, you'll be able to see each other's My Most Trusted Members. You can download it. If you are a non-member of Empowerment Point, you'll still be able to get it from the Chrome store as well. So go on to empowermentpoint.com, go, um, go on to Products Our Founder Loves and you'll find the link under there to be able to do it. And if you are a networking group and you'd like to utilize this for your own, please either get in touch with me, you'll find me on empowermentpoint.com uh, or you'll also find Scott Cundall on empowermentpoint.com too. He's got his calendar link there and you can book a time to see him straight away as well. So again, thank you guys for joining us for the training. And if there's anything I can do, please get in touch. And Scott, thank you so much for doing the training for us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure, Debbie.